Hi everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Please, if you have a moment, check me out on my other forms of social media. Today I am participating in this closed collab um, with these wonderful creators in and it's called bows and embellishments and here we're just showing different ways how you can beautifully wrap gifts so for my first gift and I'll only show this part once um, but this is basically how I wrap the other gifts I just cut it I just cut a size um, to fit and in this video I was kind of going for a little rustic, a little fun, and um, I wanted the embellishments to stick out more than the paper. So I just used some of this um, shipping paper. Now, I already had this on hand. I think I'd got it from like Walmart or something. It was a bigger thicker paper but you could definitely use the one at the Dollar Tree it will work just fine sorry for the lighting it will get a little bit better after I realize how bad it is I'm so sorry um, it doesn't matter where I sit in my I'm here in my living room and it doesn't matter where I sit in my living room um, I guess it's just really where the light the um, oh my goodness the ceiling light is at it always casts a shadow no matter no matter what or where so anyways it'll get better here in just a little bit so I apologize now if you guys already know how to wrap a gift like this then uh, I guess you can move on but I don't have any fancy tricks on wrapping a gift um, this is how I've done it for years and it's the only way um, but absolutely um, be sure to check out everybody in the playlist um, the playlist will be listed down below in my description box but man I, I can't wait there's just these ladies are just brilliant and I am so blessed to be able to participate with them all I think they're all wonderful creators and I'm just so elated to be here and <clears throat> I am so excited and can't wait to see what they did as far as their gifts go. And I will tell you for this the gift wrapping, this is a little trick. I just use I'm using double-sided tape. Kind of helps mask the tape that you're using a little bit. Um and you just can't you can't see it. That's the one thing I don't really like. Um on regular gifts is the uh, the tape that you can see that was that you use to close it all up. Oh, excuse me, guys. I am so sorry. I was I've been having my grandkids, and um, well, I'm no spring chicken anymore. <laughs> I love being with my grandbabies, and um, I just get a little too tuckered out there. But anyways, so you can see what I'm doing here, and um. Yeah, I did just use the craft paper. Now, you you may be able to use some other um, fun gift wrapping paper with some of these techniques if you, if you find some that you like. Not to say that you can't. I just chose to do the brown paper a little rustic so the embellishments show out a little bit more. I really enjoyed... Um, wrapping gifts. I haven't wrapped Christmas gifts in a long time. Um, my daughters are older so most of the time they just get money and um, when I give gifts to family and stuff like that it's just normally in the gift bags are so easy. But I have this ribbon um, it is so pretty. It was kind of woodsy and I had actually got this a I believe it was from Hobby Lobby. It was $7.99 originally. And I I got this a few years ago. And it would have had to been on the 75% clearance. Because this isn't even something I would buy at 50% off. So I would have gotten it at 75%. Now let me tell you. I was using the 
a double-sided tape and you'll see me struggle here in a little bit I was being lazy and I didn't think about how the tape would work with this ribbon and it didn't stick too well but I did actually get it to work and but you could always use a little bit of hot glue you'll see where I did bring out my hot glue um, and started using that but here I'm making a really quick simple bow I'm just I'm just making two loops and I've got like some of this raffia gift stuff as well <clears throat> and that's what I was I'm using to tie it now this is the first time I'd ever used this stuff and oh my goodness I didn't realize um, how easily it broke I mean I'm no she woman um, so I know it wasn't my brute strength that broke it so but I just kind of wrapped it around a little bit and it was fine um, I took this Christmas tree ornament from the Dollar Tree Oh my goodness, look at those wild and willy hairs. Sorry. <laughs> I did not realize I was that close. And um, anyways, I just kind of hot glue that on there just like that. So for the second gift, I've already wrapped it. Saving y'all the, saving y'all from not having to watch it again. And here I did use a little bit of the double-sided tape to start it off but you'll see here where I use the, the hot glue because there was some glitter on here and I knew that the tape wasn't going to keep uh, make it stay on or at least I didn't figure it would so this one I'm doing pretty simple I'm just gonna do that one um, strap of ribbon down the side and here I'm just making a real kind of simple bow. Sorry that um, I'm a little off camera. I did not know. But I'm just making a little three loop bow on both sides. And then I have some of that red um, faux raffia. And I'll use that to tie the ribbon together. Now, uh, this is wired ribbon bow, and I just hot glued it on there, and this here is a pick from Hobby Lobby, and I just bent the um, stem down a couple of times to get it like that, and just fluffing my bow a little bit, and it's just so simple and cute. You could definitely write somebody's name on the front, or whatever you want. So, gift number three I'd actually got this ribbon it's a velvet ribbon I want to say it's like two inches I don't think it's a full two and a half inches but I think it's two inches anyways I am um, hot gluing the velvet side down onto the paper um, I, I knew the double-sided tape was not gonna work on this um, and you know you well, I don't know. You know, they have those glue dots. I personally have never used them. You can get them at the Dollar Tree and you can get them at Walmart. But I personally have never used them. And this might be a good place that you could use them. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, but definitely give it a try if you like. In instead of using the hot glue or whatever. I mean, who doesn't like to make it difficult to... For somebody to open a gift no I'm just kidding I don't I don't normally do that like I said I'm normally a gift bag gal but I figured I would find some creative things because you know I have grandkids now and so I, I could be back to opening gifts it's f more fun watching them open the gifts now here I'm I had another white marker and it didn't work so well so I got this the white glass marker from the Dollar Tree and started making all these dash marks on here and then I got a pack of three little cars from the Dollar Tree and some of these small um, small little Christmas trees and is that not cute now after I'd already glued those cars down I thought maybe I should have just had them all going in one row <laughs> instead of running into each other 
Okay, so this is more of like a faux present, okay? But you could absolutely do this on a regular present. I have some of this one and a half inch ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, and it's so cute as it is. But when I got it home, it was too big for what I wanted to use it as. And I wanted to use it as the... Um, three quarter inch ribbon that you'll see me use here in just a second the pink one um, because what I'll be doing is I'll be feeding it through a snowflake and so when I tried doing it feeding it through the snowflake it just wasn't coming out right the middle part was being all bunched up and so what I'll do is I'll take that three quarter inch rose gold ribbon from Michaels a couple years ago and it's going to cover the silver strip and that's fine um, so I just hot glue it on there and then I'll cut a, a, a lengthy piece off. Well, actually I'm going to cover this whole, this whole piece with the rose gold and then I'll go the opposite direction and I will add it there. Now you may wonder why didn't I, um, layer the ribbons one at a time and it's really because I knew I was going to feed the snowflake through the ribbon so I didn't want to do that and that's why this small piece is overlapping the other piece so I'm showing you here where I had cut a part of the of the prongs off of the snowflake and that's what I needed to do in order to make this fit through there so now definitely you could do this with a different color snowflake but um, I thought this was really cute the way I, I've done it now mind you I bought the wrong size ribbon for the middle part and I, I intended to use a two and a half inch ribbon that was bigger and it would have had the snowflake um, pop out a little bit more but I didn't do that so it didn't work out so I had to improvise but here's the quick little um, gift wrapping ideas that I came up with and I hope you like them and again watch everybody in the playlist see what they came up with I thank you all so much for joining me and those for you that are coming back. Thank you for subscribing. And for those that aren't, maybe if you will, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you the next time. Y'all have a blessed day.